Okay. <laughs> Let's see. The story. As it happened. As I remember it. As I'm telling it. Oh, God. Well, here it is. At exactly six o'clock tonight, I came home from work. My wife, Myra, was in her dressing room, getting dressed for the party. I went to the kitchen, grabbed a bottle of champagne from the refrigerator. Rosita, the Spanish cook, was in the kitchen with Ramona, her Spanish sister, and Romero, her Spanish son. <laughs> They're preparing an Italian dinner. They were waiting for Myra to tell them when to start the dinner. As I climbed the stairs, I said to myself, this is my 10th wedding anniversary, and I can't believe I still love my wife so much. She was putting on a perfume I bought for Christmas. I burped it by it because it drives me crazy. I tap on her door. Tap, tap, tap. She opens it. <laughs> I had her glass of champagne. I toast to the most beautiful wife a man could have for ten years. She toasts to the best man the most beautiful wife could ever have for ten years. We drink. We kiss. that has never aged a day in ten wonderful years. She toasts to the gentlest hands that have ever stroked the loveliest skin on the loveliest body that has never aged a day in ten wonderful years. We drink. We kiss. <laughs> we toast. We drink. We kiss. We toast. By seven o'clock, the bottle is finished. My wife is sloshed, and I'm completely toasted. And then I smell it. <laughs> Both of you, I could never resist. I love her in that moment with as much passion and art as the night we were first newlyweds. <laughs> Not an embarrassment, but the pride and joy for a love so deep, it grows stronger as each new day passes. We lay there, spent, naked, aged, <laughs> in our happiness. <laughs> By now, it's eight o'clock, and it's grown dark outside. Suddenly, a knock at the door. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> the door opens to a strange young man looking down on us with a knife in his hands. My ear screams, ah! I run to grab my gun from my drawer. My ear grabs a towel to shield herself. <laughs> I rush back in with my pistol, ready to save my wife's life. The strange young man says, You keep the sedan and the Keep going. Spanish, and I'd never seen Rosita San Romero before, and I didn't know that the knife was to cut up the salad, and he was just asking, should they start the dinner now? So I aim my gun at him, my wrist screams again, ah, and pulls my arm, the gun goes off, and shoots me in the ear alone. Rosita San Romero runs downstairs to tell Rosita and Ramona, Rosita, Ramona, and Romero leave it off. My ear is bleeding on my wife's white dress. Suddenly, we hear a noise outside. It's the first guests pulling up. So Wyra grabs a bathroom and runs downstairs to stop Rosita, Ramona, and Romero, or else we'll have no dinner. But they take off in there. Alpha, Romero. I look out the window, but it's dark outside. I think 
someone's trying to steal my beautiful old Mercedes, so I take another shot at them. <laughs> Myra runs down to the basement where we keep the cedar chest. She's looking for the dress she wore last year for the run for rheumatoid arthritis. She can't find the light, trips down the stairs, passes out in the dark. <laughs> I run downstairs looking for my wife, but I notice that the basement door is open. <clears throat> Afraid that the stranger man is coming back, locked, not knowing that Myra is still down there. Then I run upstairs to take some aspirin for my ear because it's telling me from the hold. But the blood on my fingers gets in my eyes, and by mistake I take four bowing instead. And I start to hear the first guests pouring in downstairs. And I want to tell them to look for Myra. But all of a sudden, I can't speak for the value. And, and my ear is bleeding on the white rug. So I grab a note to try to explain what happened. But I look down, and the note looks like gibberish. And I'm afraid that my friends will think it was a suicide note. And they'll call the police. <laughs> and my friend Glenn Cooper is coming. And it would be very bad for his campaign to get mixed up in a suicide. So I tore the note up and flushed it down the toilet as the guests were pouring in. And they're yelling at me, what happened? What happened? But before I can tell them what happened, I pass out on the bed. And that's the whole